हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ग्रेड सेवन चैप्टर वन नंबर सिस्टम नंबर सिस्टम इज द रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ न्यूमरिक वैल्यूज देर आर फोर टाइप्स ऑफ नंबर सिस्टम्स यूज इन आर डे टू डे लाइफ स्पेशली इन कंप्यूटर साइंस नंबर वन डेसिमल नंबर सिस्टम नंबर टू बाइनरी नंबर सिस्टम नंबर थ्री ऑक्टल नंबर सिस्टम एंड नंबर फोर हेक्सा डेसीमल नंबर सिस्टम सो दीज नंबर सिस्टम्स allow us to represent all our numeric values the way of representing numbers is called a number system so let's discuss these number systems one by one the first number system is the decimal number system the decimal number system is the number system used in our day to day life we are using different digits from 0 to 9 in mathematics so this is basically used in mathematics So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine are the digits used. So totally there are ten digits used. That's why it is said to have a base or radix of ten. So it is represented like three eighty nine to the base ten. So here base is ten, and the digits which are included are zero to nine. So when we count zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, totally there are ten. so the base becomes 10 hence we write the number in the bracket and the base outside of the bracket or we may write the number outside the bracket and the base may be represented inside the bracket so this is how we represent a decimal number system in computer science so hope it is clear about the decimal number system its digits its base and its representation now moving on to the binary number system so binary number system is the most important number system used by all the digital devices this number system basically consists of two digits that is 0 and 1 hence its base or radix becomes 2 so here we can see 0 represents false and 1 represents true so the computer system works on true false on off system that's why the binary number system has only two digits so it is represented in the same way like the decimal number system the only difference is instead of base 10 we would be writing base as 2 because binary number system by means 2 so binary number system has two digits that is 0 and 1 Zero means off and one means on. Zero means false, one means true. So its its base or radix becomes two, and the numbers are represented inside the bracket. Like here we can see one zero, one zero represented in the bracket, and right side the base is written that is base two. so you can do the another way also you can write the numbers outside the bracket and the base inside the bracket so that would also work now let's move to the octal number system the octal number system consists of digits from 0 to 7 so totally there are eight digits that is why it is having base or radix as 8 and oct means Eight, so that is why it is known as octal number system or oct number system. This number system is represented in the same way as we represent decimal or binary. The difference here would be the base would become eight. Always remember the base is written at the bottom right side, whereas the number is written inside the bracket or out of the bracket at the top. so the base is written as a subscript on the bottom right side so this is how we represent octal number system next is hexadecimal number system hexadecimal number system consists of totally 16 digits hex means 16 hex means 6 decimal means 10 so 6 plus 10 is 16 so totally 16 digits are there 
now we have only total 10 digits that is from 0 to 9 so what about remaining 6 the remaining 6 would be the alphabets from alphabet a to alphabet f so number 0 to 9 and alphabet a b c d e and f totally they be, they will make 16 that is why we call it as hexadecimal number system it will have base of 16 and it is a combination of the digits and the alphabets. So, representation would be similar to the other number systems. So, students now the question arises, why do we use the octal and hexadecimal number system? So, let me tell you why. Binary number consists of two digits that is 0 and 1. Here either a 0 or a 1 makes 1 bit. So, 1 bit storage of the computer system is used to represent 1 binary number system. Whereas, octal number system single digit represents 3 binary digits. And in hexadecimal, 1 single digit represents 4 binary digits. So, use, use of octal number system and hexadecimal number system saves the computer memory at a very large scale. Hence, the octal number system will need one third of the memory of the binary number system and hexadecimal number system will need one fourth of the memory of the binary number system, thus saving the computer's memory space. I hope you all got this point. Now, how does the computer understand octal, hexadecimal or decimal number system when we all know that it is digital device at, and it knows or understands only, the, only binary numbers? So, this is done using the conversion of one number system to another number system, binary to decimal, decimal to binary, binary to octal, octal to binary, etc, etc.